I'm Jeremy Padfield. Uh, we run a beef and arable business on the Mendip Hills in Somerset. Uh, we're a leaf demonstration farm and we're also an agri-EPI satellite farm. Excessive water use and borehole extraction points can have a negative impact on groundwater levels and wider water resources. This threatens the health of the system and can be particularly problematic for more ephemeral streams and winterbournes, which can be sensitive to small changes in these levels. Reducing dependence on local water supplies and resources can relieve some of the pressure on local water courses. Beyond the water resource issue, keeping clean roof water from falling onto potentially dirty farmyards can have a huge impact on dirty water production and the risk of nutrient runoff from yards to neighbouring water courses and ditches. In some instances, collecting this rainwater can reduce the amount of water entering slurry pits by up to 30%, having a significant impact on slurry storage capacities, better allowing farmers to meet regulation. This building is about three years old. Um, to, in order to improve efficiencies, we installed a, a solar PV array on, on the roof. And at the same time, we thought it would be a good idea to put a rainwater harvesting system in. So this building is predominantly used for rearing calves uh, throughout the year. It's also uh, in the vicinity, we've got some stables. It's also a wash down area for tractors and equipment. And it's also one of the sites where we fill the farm sprayer. So how the system works, water flows from the gutter down the downpipe into this diverter or filter. And as the water builds up in the diverter, it then evenly flows over the cascade and then across a fine stainless steel mesh. And then the filter water then drops down into the bottom of the tank. This is where the second stage of cleaning takes place. Uh, as the water passes through a calmed inlet, the water is pushed up the tank so that it oxygenates the water but also it doesn't disturb any sediment that's lying on the bottom of the tank. So this tank we use for filling the sprayer. As you can see we've got a four inch cam lock fitting on there so it makes it very easy to fix up to the sprayer and rapid fill. Um, we've got a facility where we can add mains water to this tank obviously if there's not sufficient rainwater in there. The biggest benefits because the water is soft it means that it's, it's, it's better on the sprayer but also we can reduce the amount of chemical conditioners um, that we use when we're applying chemicals like glyphosate for instance. So if we talk about the cost of installing one of these systems, uh, the first thing to do is to work out the square meterage of your roof. So this particular building is 13 metres by 23 metres so that gives us uh, an area of about 300 square metres. The manufacturers recommend that you times that figure by 0.65 because 650 mil is the average UK rainfall. We're a little bit higher than that, we're around about 950. Gives us around about 200,000 litres or 200 cubic metres of water. So to summarise, uh, the benefits of a harvesting system, uh, I've talked about the sprayer, it makes easy, uh, easy and quick use of, of filling the sprayer. It obviously saves us money. Uh, we, we think that we save around about 350 to 400 pounds per year on our water bills. It's also quite important to have two large storage tanks in this part of the farm. If, in the event of a fire, we've got you know, 20,000 litres that we could pull from. And I suppose more importantly, it's, it's a free resource that we ought to take advantage of um, and you know, reduce our environmental impact. Rainwater harvesting can provide multiple benefits across a variety of farms. If you're interested in exploring the potential of rainwater harvesting on your farm, first put a call into determining the system for you. The LEAF website has more information on the system here at the Church Farm, but there are also resources such as rainwaterharvesting.co.uk and articles across publications such as Farmers Weekly, where you can find informative case studies and ideas. And of course, I would suggest getting in touch with your local catchment sensitive farming officer to be able to assess the right option for you. And also, if you're in a high priority water area, Countryside Stewardship has got great grants available for all parts of the system, all the way from rainwater goods such as guttering and downpipes to the tanks themselves and even filters within these tanks.